So Kat was here from grade triple naught until grade nine. And she was one of those students who you can't ever forget. She was someone who had a vision and I think she'll be very happy to know that it's now Crawford International Centre. and I still remember what a cutie she was at that age. The important thing about Kat was she always had her eye on the prize, even when she was 10 years old. She'd won a few crowns by then, but she was a determined little thing, and she was going to make sure that she got what she wanted. And that was to be a beauty queen, to be in the world of beauty, to get onto TV, and she did it. And that's what's so magical. I'm Ashley. I was Katzen Gala's AS Mathematics tutor and uh, what a privilege it was to be able to work with this dynamic lass. Her timekeeping schedule was always a bit of a challenge for us as she's just so busy but absolutely uh, one of my TOP students to work with. Her funny stories and antics kept me wildly entertained um, and I'm very grateful to have been able to know her. Angie Kutsia. I'm currently a missionary teacher in Ecuador, South America. I was Kat's grade two teacher. Kat was one of those pupils that teachers love to teach. She was confident from day one in my class and she loved to chat and offer her opinion. I love to give my students nicknames. It makes them feel special and noticed. I gave Kat the nickname Kat because she was so lively and interactive. I love to see that Kat is inspiring young women to love themselves because a huge part of what I want to impart to my learners is that they mustn't take note of what other people say about them, but rather they must make choices based on what makes them happy. My name is Feroza Mare and I was her drama and LO teacher. She was a live wire in the class. When Kat walked into the classroom, you could just feel the energy in the room. She was overly dramatic. She was over the top. She was eccentric. She was a cool kid. And she just had an energy that every teacher loved to have in the class. Really, really proud to know that Kat always knew where she wanted to go all along. And even if I, when she was in grade seven, you would know that this the path she was heading on. I'm glad to see that she's done so well and she's so successful. I remember her more in grade seven when uh, uh, maybe she got a little bit naughtier. Um, she developed a, 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 a stronger personality with a, a lot more attitude. Um, and especially during that time, I remember when uh, uh, she started taking part in a lot of uh, beauty pageants uh, during that time. But yeah, very fond memories of Kat and uh, so glad to see one of ours is doing so well. She wanted to, to be her own person. She was a great risk taker and she was one of those people that stood out and I saw a great future for Kat. A lot of us are stressed about exams. Many people are just like, why should I even write in 2020? As a teacher, what is your advice to you know followers and friends at home to just push and finish off the year with the bank? Absolutely. I think they need to be confident, they need to be bold, they need to trust their own intuition. Now I know a lot of you are currently writing exams. And whilst they're important, they don't define who you are. You've got to want something badly enough to get it. And if you want it, you will get it. Not just by wanting it, but by working really hard for it. Kat is the perfect example. She wanted to become a beauty queen. Tick. She wanted to be on TV. Tick. Everything she wanted, she got. She wanted to make a difference in the world. Tick. This is a young girl who is only 20 years old and has already become somebody so special. All of you can do that too. But you have to want to. And then you have to get up and you have to do it.